In this video, I'm going to be talking about the new Discord plugin for Stream Deck. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. Now, the uh, new foot pedals that were released from Elgato yesterday, I did a video all about those, leave it in the top corner, um, was uh, sort of overshadowed another announcement, <laughs> which was that in the update for the Stream Deck software that came out to add in the compatibility for the foot pedal, uh, they also added in the new Discord plugin uh, created by Elgato themselves. So it's always good when uh, Elgato creates a custom plugin because you know it's obviously gonna have good integration there and uh, hopefully longevity going forward as well. So it is a bit light on the actions at the moment, but as I say, hopefully being uh, by Elgato, hopefully they have some plans to build this out going forward. So let's have a look first of all at uh, how to get it, shall we? So heading over to uh, the Stream Deck app, all you need to do is go into, uh, well, first of all, let's update, shall we? <laughs> go into preferences. And if you go into your general section, uh, then just click on here for check for updates. Uh, and when you do that, you should uh, see a little thing pop up that says uh, an update is available. In my case, it's already done. <laughs> um, but basically what you want is 5.2. So probably if you haven't updated recently, then you might have 5.1 or something previously. So uh, you can always check for updates. Uh, it doesn't necessarily auto update. So definitely do that. Uh, you may also notice uh, I'm just selected my Stream Deck mobile. But if I come into my Excel, um, you'll also see the firmware here. Now, if there is no update available, there is no button to check for firmware but what you may notice uh, as of yesterday is that uh, you may notice that there is a firmware update available for the stream deck as well which was sort of hand in hand with that software update so you may just need to click down here to uh, uh, the button that you can't see because <laughs> it's not on here at the moment um, but uh, just check for that firmware version and the, there will be an update button if a new version is available so uh, that's how to basically get the update uh, for the software so let's look now at how to add in the uh, the Discord uh, plugin itself. So there we're going to come up to the uh, Stream Deck store, which is accessible by this little icon just up in the top corner here. I'm going to click on that, uh, and then we want to come over to the right-hand side. Uh, and by the way, if you've never been to this splash bit screen before, there's some uh, good little articles, things like that, about uh, different things. So a starter's guide for Stream Deck, uh, and here's some more information about the pedal. Uh, but you want to come over onto the left, whoopsie daisy, just cutting it off, uh, and come over to the plugins. This is the way that we always install plugins, but I do think it's worth mentioning every time in case anybody new to Stream Deck is seeing this. Uh, and then you want to just type in the search box Discord. Now here what you'll see is uh, there are actually four results, uh, but there is only one that is the official Discord uh, plugin by Elgato, and you can see there it says by Elgato. These other ones are by actually the same third-party developer, uh, and they do different things. I don't actually use them, so there's one of them here is a Discord member status. So you can actually, if you if there are particular members in Discord that you uh, uh, you follow, you're close friends with, and you want to literally have a status on your Stream Deck showing you uh, whether they're online or offline, then uh, you can use this plugin for that. Uh, if you want to have a uh, thing to show you the active member count, so if you've got a particular server that you're in and you want to see how many people are on that server at any given time, uh, then uh, that is the one for you. Uh, and then there's also this one that allows you to send uh, basically predefined messages to um, uh, to different people. Uh, again, I don't new use all of these uh all I'm interested in at the moment is the <laughs> the key uh, one for uh, Discord from Elgato. So uh, what you want to do is just come here and click on install. If it is already installed, you can uninstall it. That, by the way, is just how you always install it, uninstall plugins as well. So if you've got one that you've tried out that you don't like, uh, the way to get rid of it is you can come over here and uninstall it. So once it is installed, uh, well, what do you get? Well, let's have a little look, shall we, at the uh, Discord plugin. So you will find it over on the right-hand side in your list of plugins. Uh, then it will usually just add it to the bottom. You can, by the way, uh, just in case you weren't aware, uh, click on this little icon just up at the top. And if you click on that, then you will be able to... Uh, reorganize these so if you do ever want to move things around maybe you want the discord one at the top or the bottom or wherever you want it you can just drag it around to uh, that place and then click done so here are the different actions we've got uh, we've got mute 
uh, which is when you're on a uh, in a Zoom uh, <laughs> Zoom in a Discord voice channel, uh, then this is to toggle the mute on and off. Uh, there is also Deafen, if you're not familiar with de uh, Discord. Uh, Deafen, basically, as well as muting your mic, it also mutes the sound from uh, the other people on the uh, the channel as well, in the voice channel. Um, so that just means that, uh, basically, if you want to take a break, but you're still connected and you don't want to hear anything and you don't want them to hear you, then uh, Deafen is the, uh, the one that you'd press. We've also, I'm just going to skip over these next two, we've also got uh, Push to Talk. Um, so much the same as in Zoom, you can activate uh, the space bar to uh, basically push to talk. So it's, if you're on mute, you press that button, it's going to uh, allow you to speak and be heard. <laughs> um, and then the bottom one here is push to mute. So maybe you want to actually be on all the time, but uh, uh, then you're going to cough or something like that. <laughs> and you want to just temporarily mute yourself. That one then is the opposite. So it's push to mute. Um, the next two that we've got, or these middle two, are basically to open a specific voice channel. Now, the way that this works is um, when you add it in, it's going to basically allow you to choose your particular server uh, and then also the voice channel. So in this server, there are a number of different voice channels. If I come here and change to uh, my Take One Tech channel, you can see how it's basically taking the icon of the uh, uh, the, the server itself rather, not the channel. Uh, and then here we've got the voice channel. There is only one in there, so I can just pick that from the drop down. Uh, really neat integration. There's no uh, sort of setup required from this point of view. Um, having said that, there is a little bit of setup. I'll come to that in a moment, <laughs> I've just realized. Uh, what you'll also notice is that it does try to just put the, uh, the name of the uh, channel over the top of the logo. So that might be a little bit tricky to see. So what you may want to do is come down to here uh, and just take that off. Um, so now it's taken the little uh, title off that. Um, obviously, if you're adding multiple ones in, then uh, it could be difficult to read. You may want to design your own custom icon so that you've got space for the text uh, as well as the, uh, the logo for the channel or however you want to display that. The other one that we've got here is text channel. So just the same way as we use that to open up a voice channel, uh, this one opens up a text channel. It works in exactly the same way. It gives us a list of all of our servers uh, and we can choose which one we want from there. And then you can choose the uh, text channel that you want from there as well. Again, it's putting the uh, the name over the top of the logo of the channel. So for clarity, you may want to uh, do something to decipher between which ones are which. Uh, and I'll be creating some custom icons for my uh, various different ones that I want to have linked to from my stream deck. Uh, but that is it, really. That is the uh, six actions that are available as part of the Discord uh, plugin. Really pleased that they've made this first step. Looking forward to them doing a lot more. Uh, I should just point out, though, as well, uh, <laughs> in terms of uh, things to do to set up, when you do go to set it up, you will actually be prompted in Discord the first time you try and use one of these things. Uh, if you've got Discord open and you try and uh, use any one of these actions, it will basically pop up this little message in uh, in Discord itself saying that uh, Stream Deck would al uh, like to al have permission to do a few things. Uh, and so you just need to make sure you go and uh, approve that. But apart from that, uh, that is all that is required for setup. Uh, in terms of other things to do on... Um, uh, on uh, Stream Deck for Discord. Uh, there are a whole load of keyboard shortcuts available for Discord. So I'll leave a link to uh, those in the description. Um, it would be great, wouldn't it, if a, a YouTube creator was to create a whole set of custom icons uh, programmed to those shortcuts. So I'll be working on that. <laughs> and uh, I'll post another video when they're done because uh, it would be nice to have a much deeper integration with Discord. And until this... Um, uh, plugin is further developed, then we can certainly do that with uh, just using the keyboard shortcuts directly, or I'll probably do it with Keyboard Maestro so that I can control everything in the background, even if it isn't the frontmost application. I'll leave some more of my Stream Deck videos over on the right hand side, so don't go anywhere, more great content coming up.